Josh Klein. YOLO! <laughs> What's going on, guys? Protodoge here, and today, um, we gotta talk about the market for a little bit, and then um, I kinda wanna get into some coins that I've been looking at. Uh, and it's kinda hard, you know, to like be happy, excited, positive when um, the market just kind of took a dump, right? Like in the last few days, you know, if you guys have been keeping up, everything kind of took a downturn, nosedive. Um, I think Bitcoin almost touched you know, sixty, sixty-one thousand dollars, just out of nowhere. It just, it just completely crashed. And then, obviously, Bitcoin goes down, and all the other altcoins go down. And um, it just feels very bearish right now, right? Uh, people asking why that happened, and um, why did everything just take such a downturn? Uh, the answer to that may lie in a variety of different reasons, but one of them being, in my opinion, and I think this is true is uh, the war, right? So uh, Iran decided to attack Israel and send missiles and stuff over there. And um, I don't know exactly, you know, the, the, the ins and outs of the geopolitics there, but uh, that kind of, you know, scared a lot of people. Israel, you know, is probably gonna retaliate. Then the United States is probably gonna get involved. Um, it, it can get pretty crazy and pretty messy here in the next few months. And I feel like, you know, obviously the markets react to things like that. And I feel like that's a big reason why we've kind of, you know, started going on a, on a negative, uh, downturn here. Um, also another reason could be because, you know, Bitcoin having is a few days away at this point. And historically there's, you know, a major pullback before the halving and even around the having period, right? Um, now, also historically, after a few months, after the having, things start picking back up. Um, back in 2020, if you guys remember, uh, COVID was kind of, you know, that version of what we're going through right now with, you know, Iran and and, and, uh, and Israel and, 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 you know, the rumors of World War Three and all this crazy stuff. Um, that's kind of what COVID was, right? A global pandemic that happened in 2020. And obviously the crypto markets reacted the exact same way. I think Bitcoin crashed down uh, uh, from like 10, I think, down to like 3,000, 5,000 and then $3,000 a coin, which was pretty insane, pretty crazy. But sure enough, you know, a few months after that, it picked right back up. So I'm not afraid that this isn't gonna bounce back. I'm not afraid that we're not gonna see this go back up. It's just when, right? It could be next month. It could be in six months. We could have a really dry summer. We could have a super bearish summer. Who knows? Um, but, you know, I always hold out faith that, you know, things uh, things bounce back faster. Um, whether or not that actually happens is, you know, something that we will yet have to wait and see. But going into that mindset of, okay, now we're feeling bearishness. Nobody wants to talk about crypto. People aren't, you know, screaming about crypto left and right on Twitter, um, X. And now what, right? Now now what do we do? Um, if you've been sidelined this entire time and, and haven't really deployed a lot of capital, haven't really bought a bunch of coins, you're just smart of you to not <laughs> and had some cash on the side. Uh, now's a great time to buy into your conviction plays, right? So conviction plays being, for example, in my case, Dogecoin's a conviction play. Um, uh, Chainlink is a conviction pay, play. Cardano's a conviction play. Um, I think Solana's going to do really well. Avalanche is another conviction play of mine. And then I also have my meme coin conviction plays, right? Such as um dog with hat is is a big conviction play of mine pepe is a big conviction play of mine brett on base chain is a big conviction play of mine so coins like these right that are going to be seeing um some kind of downtrend right now just because it's being reflected on what the market as a whole is facing that's this is kind of the time that you know you have the opportunity to really um dca dollar cost average and and buy in at these lower lower um highs that that your coins are seeing now, um, in that same realm, in that same uh, field, 
Uh, I'm still very bullish on base chain, which is where Brett Brett's on, but I'm bullish on the chain as a whole. I feel like it's going to be really big here in the coming months. Um, you know, a base chain, really quick little recap if you guys don't know what base chain is. Uh, base chain is Coinbase's blockchain, right? So um, two separate entities, but under the same umbrella in a way, right? So uh, base chain is going to be having a lot more projects coming in. Um, on base chain, do I think they're they're going to have their own coin? Maybe. I doubt it. I actually like the fact that they use Ethereum um, on base because that's something we're already familiar with. That's something that already works. Um, and, you know, most people are going to are going to want to hold Ethereum over base or, or a brand new coin, right? Because you never know what happens with, you know, the volatility of new coins, things like that. But I am very bullish on the ecosystem of base. I'm bullish on the leaders of base, Jesse Polek um, and, and others. I, I'm just bullish in, in, in what's going to happen there because I feel like once um, the temperament changes here and the market sentiment starts uh, going back to positive, we start seeing more of a bullish stride here. Um, I feel like Coinbase is going to deploy a lot of capital when it comes to marketing uh, their 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 blockchain, base chain. They're going to be, you're probably going to see more commercials. You're probably going to see a lot more ads on YouTube, on social media. Um, just, you know, they have unlimited funds pretty much to, to, to market and really boost this and make it really big, right? And obviously, the more people get on base chain, um, Coinbase has over 100 million users. Um, so it's, it's pretty easy to just put that within the app, you know, hey, uh, since you're using our exchange anyway, why don't you try out base chain? You know, we also have that. Um, and just kind of onboard a lot of retail into base chain, onboard a lot of normies into base chain. And I feel like uh, as a person who holds a lot of base chain meme coins, I feel like uh, we'll see a lot of just benefits with that, right? So jumping into um, my top 10 base chain meme coins here, uh, I want to split this up. I want to I wanna make it so it makes sense, okay? Um, and with that, I mean, I kind of want to split it up where I'm going to do the first part of this is going to be the first five is going to be, um, um, I guess you could consider them the biggest coins on, on base chain right now, the biggest meme coins on base chain. Um, I'll speak a little bit about each one and why I'm bullish on it and kind of what market cap it's sitting at right now. And, uh, you know, which ones I'm personally, uh, you know, DCAing on. Um, but all of these, I feel like are really good coins. These are the first five bigger market caps, right? In the bigger market cap section um, on base chain. And then the second five are gonna be coins that are very small market caps. And I feel like have great potential. I feel like, you know, these are coins that you might not go as heavy into when it comes to investing because they're a little riskier, they're a lower market cap. But um, the upside is incredible here with those, especially when things start ramping back up and base chain starts picking up and more people start using it. The volume goes crazy again and kind of, you know, onboard a bunch of new users. So let's get it started here. Uh, my favorite top 10 base coins. Um, obviously, number one, I feel like it's pretty obvious, uh, is Brett. Brett is still the biggest meme coin on base chain. I don't know if it's the biggest coin, period. I wouldn't be surprised if it is, but it's definitely the biggest meme coin on base chain. Brett is also in the Pepe verse. I've spoken about this before. Um, I feel like Pepe is going to be really big here in the next bull run. Uh, people are going to be you know, excited to buy Pepe and then Pepe is going to shoot up and go crazy. And then people are gonna be like, oh no, what's the next thing? What's after Pepe? I missed out on Pepe. And then you got Brett, right? Brett is the, actually, Brett is the second cartoon character that Matt Fury drew for the Boys Club uh, comics. Um, and then he also did Wolf and then he also did Andy. Those are the main four, but Brett was number two. Um, and I feel like Brett is blue, base chain is blue. Um, and it's already set a lot of records on base chain as it is. Like it was the first coin to $300 million market cap. First coin to 400, 500, 600, 700, 800. I think 
at its all-time high, it was sitting at like $850 million market cap, I want to say. Um, obviously, with this pullback, everything's gone down. Bretcoin currently is around $600 million market cap, which actually is holding up a lot stronger than a lot of these coins I'm going to be talking about, okay? So, surprise there. Pleasant surprise. Um, I recently invested $100,000 of my own money into Brett, along with spending $100,000 into Pepe and $100,000 into Whiff. I made a post about this on Twitter. Um, but I'm really actually super excited that it's sitting at a $600 million market cap right now when everything else is kind of, you know, falling down and crashing. Um, so that's my first one, Brett. Um, my number two meme coin favorite meme coin on base chain that i think are, is is going to do very well also is toshi and i've spoken to you guys about this before toshi is named after the ceo of coinbase's cat right um og base chain coin currently sitting at 178 million dollar market cap um also holding up pretty strong i feel like um the only thing with with, with toshi is that i kind of wish that toshi was the only cat that uh the ceo you know has but he has two cats right so now it's like oh which one should i get this one or this one and that kind of brings me to number three um that i'm most bullish on here is mochi right so mochi sitting at around a th 36 million dollar market cap it's one of the two cats right um these are basically my top three, right? You got Brett, you got Toshi, you got Mochi. Brett's at $600 million market cap. Toshi's at $178 million market cap. And Mochi's at $36 million market cap. So the, the interesting thing about Toshi and Mochi is the fact that they are the, the, the CEO of Coinbase's two cats. Um, you kind of automatically dilute it there, right? Because people are going to be like, oh, let's get his cat. Wait, which one? Should I buy this one? Should I buy this one? Uh, let me just get both of them, right? And all of a sudden... You, you, you're split up, right? You got some people over here, some people over here. That coin automatically, uh, those two coins automatically lose a little bit of power there because um, people are divided, right? On Onto which one that they want. The interesting thing about Mochi though, is Mochi is going in a different direction than, than Brett and Toshi, right? So Brett and Toshi are both blue. They're both like the mascots of a uh, base chain. That's kind of like their thing. Um, outside of Brett being Pepe verse and Toshi being the founder's, uh, CEO's cat, um, they're both kind of like the blue, the face of base chain kind of thing, right? Mochi's like, look, you guys could have that, all right? I'm going to be the cutest cat meme coin on base chain. And I'm not even blue. I'm just, we're just going to change the color up and everything. It's going to be, we're going to be our own thing here over on base chain. And so the way I see Mochi is the way I see Pudgy Penguins right the way i see uh like um like hello kitty right so 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 i feel like it's it's aiming for that um whether it's a chinese market mostly or or, or not but mochi is just a cute cat um and and it, and it kind of has that like hello kitty meets pudgy penguins vibe and um they're gonna have real world products they have their own collection of nfts right now um they have a lot of like like those squishy marshmallows, not marshmallows, but squishmallows or whatever, you know, those real world um, uh, plush toys. Like Mochi wants to do that and have merchandise and all types of stuff, have games. So Mochi's going that route, which I really like because it's different. It, se it separates itself, right, from everything else. So I'm super bullish on Mochi. I'm sitting at a $36 million market cap right now. And I kind of am curious to see what they do with it, right? So we saw what happened with Pudgy Penguins, even though that's an NFT project. Um, Pudgy Penguins had uh, created real life products, right? Where you can go to Walmart and buy it. It kind of expands that that brand awareness for people that aren't familiar with it. Maybe they're not in Web3 just yet or not into crypto, not into NFTs yet. Um, and I feel like Mochi kind of taking that route is, is super bullish because it's just different. And I just love what the team's doing over there. So number three, Mochi. So for the last two, um, these are a little lower market cap, uh, but they're still, I still consider them, you know, top five, still up there in the higher market cap in, in comparison to, to base chain as a whole right now. Um, and the first one I want to talk about is, is Roost. So Roost coin, right? So if you guys aren't familiar with Roost, um, Roost coin probably, in my opinion, had the biggest hyped launch out of any base chain token meme coin ever 
Um, I remember it very specifically because at that point is kind of when we started getting a lot of people coming over to base chain and everyone's talking about base chain, base chain, base chain. Base. So like Roos kind of took that momentum that was already happening with uh, users coming over, liquidity coming over to base chain. And what Roos did was completely capitalize on it a hundred percent, right? They had a huge pre-sale. I'm not the biggest fan of pre-sales, but they had the hugest, a huge pre-sale, probably the biggest one around that time, I think. And um, it was just so much hype. Everyone was asking about it. It was all over my timeline, all over my feed. You couldn't, you know, go anywhere without seeing Roost um, about to launch, right? And then Roost launches. They have a little bit of a hiccup, but they bounce back. They go up. They, I think they went over 100 million market cap at one point, dropped back down to 50, uh, went back to like 70, 75, 80. Um, and it just seemed like pretty solid like obviously you know in the beginning you're gonna have some hiccups especially after a pre-sale that that large um also with roost i was able to speak to the team about them as well and so i actually met uh some of the team members in real life which is kind of cool um this was like after launch and everything and kind of asked them about their roadmap and, and what they were planning on doing with, with roost and you know they seem like pretty good people to me uh and and they had like you know positive long-term goals here for roost so we'll see what they do we'll see we'll see what they do over there at roost um but you know i'm bullish on the team uh, i'm bullish on kind of like you know the angle that they decided to take and they're sitting at a 32 million dollar market cap right now so it could be worse you know like they're they're obviously had a pullback just like everything else but 32 million market cap is still you know pretty impressive here especially during bearish times like we are in today um, so that's Roost. That's number four. Number five, Normie, right? So it's funny because I don't, I haven't really talked about Normie too much in the past. Um, it's been on my radar. I've been checking it out. I've been trying to understand like, what's the narrative here? Like what's, uh, you know, what's really going to take this coin to the next level? Like, like what's the lore? Like why, why are people excited for it? Why are people, you know, pumped up about it? And apparently, and, and like, I could be wrong, and if I am, please let me know in the comments down below, but Normie is kind of representing that Normie population of people that are coming into base chain, right? Um, I don't know exactly what the, you know, full-blown uh, lore or narrative here is for Normie, but I can see that being something that's funny, um, seeing it being that uh, it represents, you know, the new school, the, the 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 people that are just getting introduced to crypto, and they're the ones coming through Coinbase onto Base Chain. That kind of makes sense, right? Um, and I don't know. It just it seems like that could catch on, and and the normies might buy normie. Who knows, right? So um, it's currently sitting at a sixty six million dollar market cap. It actually, I think, it went over a hundred, maybe touched two hundred. Um, but normie you know is one that's that's been sticking around it's been there it's got a very thriving community so you know shout out to normie uh that's uh that's coin number five so now for the next five i kind of want to uh, i kind of want to touch on coins that are a little bit smaller um in market cap these are these are coins that you know they're more risky obviously um they could go to zero for all I know, you know what I mean? Uh, but these are coins that I'm bullish on because they have narrative, they have a reason for people to hold it. Um, these are coins that I can see taking off, especially when it comes to, you know, a ton of people moving over to base, especially when Coinbase starts rolling out their marketing plans and, and really starts bringing users over to base, they're gonna get to base and be like, okay, what do I buy? I can see these coins being the ones that they gravitate to, right? Just based off a narrative, based off of uh, just what's what's the easiest thing to relate to, um, the easiest thing to buy, and 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 things that I feel like people would gravitate to, right? So number six um, is Boge, okay? And I've talked about Boge before, okay? Boge is is probably one of the first coins that I saw on Base Chain. Um, I could be wrong about when they launched, but Boge is basically Dogecoin on base chain. So it's blue Doge. So it's Boge. Get it? Um, I feel like this is a coin that a lot of people would want to buy as soon as they get into base chain because it makes sense. They are recognized Dogecoin already. Oh, it's Doge. It's Dogecoin. 
but it's blue because it's on base chain. It's Boge. That's awesome. You know what I mean? Like, I get that. Like, it makes sense to me. Um, that, that coin actually really caught my eye in the beginning just for that for that reason. I love Dogecoin. I'm super bullish on base chain. Let me get some Boge. You know what I'm saying? So it, it just it just kind of makes sense from a just a easily recognizable narrative and it's base chain and it's dogecoin on base and they're uh you know they've been around for a while so they have first movers advantage here right so number six boge currently it's sitting at a four million dollar market cap like i said it's very low um these are a little riskier but there's a huge upside there right it could go to 10 20 30 40 million depending on people coming on the base and wanting to buy it so that's number six boge um number seven is rock right so black rock i don't know if you guys are familiar with this coin or not it's a meme coin on base chain and it's basically making fun of black rock okay so if you know and if you don't know i'll tell you right now um black rock has made a partnership with coinbase okay now the ins and outs of that partnership and exactly what it entails i don't know you guys could look that up but they're forming a partnership with coinbase and so black rock coinbase BlackRock meme coin on base chain. I get it. There's a narrative there. It makes sense. It's funny. The memes are funny. Um, so right now it's currently sitting at a $12 million market cap, um, which is holding up pretty well. I, I don't remember what the all-time high was. I want to say 30, 40, 50, 60 million dollar market cap, I think. But sitting around 12 million, this is probably on the on the higher end of, of these that I'm talking about here now. Um, but yeah, BlackRock. That's number six. Seven, seven. Um, okay, number eight, Miss Peaches. Okay, now I'm not a huge fan of Dave Portnoy or or, or uh, Stool, the the the, the um, Barstool Sports thing or whatever. Um, I'm familiar with it. I know about it. I've seen clips. I'm you know, I get it. Right. Um, I'm not a huge sports fan. Maybe that's why. Um, but you know, it is what it is. Uh, but I do understand the influence that Dave Portnoy has. I do understand that he's done a lot of things in the past where he's talked about crypto, talked about meme coins, and it's shot up and gone crazy. Um, somebody made a Dave Portnoy coin, I think, and he was like, oh, this is funny, and it just went nuts, right? Um, he's also came out and, and talked about somebody, uh, uh, the brothers trying to um, convince him to buy Bitcoin, and, and he just never did it, and he bought it, and then paper-handed, and lost money, and like... He's just not the greatest with crypto, but I can appreciate his uh, his, his appreciation for crypto um, and, and his involvement of it now. And I feel like Miss Peaches is his dog. Um, we already know the narrative of, of, you know, prominent figures, dogs made into meme coins, and they can be successful if, you know, the, uh, the owners of the dogs talk about them, right? We saw this with, with um, Floki and... and Elon Musk. We saw this with Myro and the co-founder of Solana. Um, it makes sense. I understand the narrative. So Miss Peaches, right? Peach right now is at about a $3 million market cap. So it's a lot lower than it was before. Um, like I said, there's a pullback in the market. Everything goes down. Um, but the upside is very big here. If let's say tomorrow, Dave Portnoy says, hey guys, Miss Peaches, ah, oh, Peach Coin or whatever. It, it'll go crazy, right? It makes sense. So that's um, that's number eight, right? That's number eight. Number nine, um, Quack. Quack is number nine, sitting at a $4 million market cap. So I've seen the memes. I think they're funny. Um, Quack is basically a duck on base chain, right? And it's blue and it's got a community and it's got a team and it's been it's been holding up. Like it's at a $4 million market cap right now um it's just one of those that i see a lot of on my timeline that i just can't ignore it right i just can't ignore it um people talk about it people love sharing memes and i feel like this has incredible upside too and it's a newer coin too i think it's only been out for about a week or two now um so that's quack quack is number nine um number 10 this is another coin that i see all the time pop up on my feed okay it's benji now 
I, I like I'm I'm still looking into it some more. Okay, it's only at a three million dollar market cap. I'm looking at I'm looking into it some more. It's a dog. They're saying that Benji is the oldest breed of dog. Um, Benji uh, is 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 the base chain mascot dog, right? Kind of every chain has a mascot dog of theirs, um, and. People spam me all the time. Look, it worked. I'm talking about Benji right now on my video, right? It worked. Um, but people are always I like the I like the uh the illustration, I like the the logo, I like the cartoons, like I don't know. This could be something that could take off depending on how well the team pulls this off, how solid they are. Um when things start moving back up, rallying back up. Ramping back up here on base chain, Benji could go crazy. Who knows? Um, it's a dog coin. People love dog coins. Um, you know, in this list, there's only a few dog coins that I talked about, right? I talked about Peaches. I talked about Boge. Um, the other two were Cats and uh, and Benji, right? So, so yeah, I mean, I, I guess if you look at it, there really hasn't been a mascot of base chain that is a dog. There hasn't been a dog coin of base chain, right? It's been the Cats. Um, so who knows? They might take that spot, right? But um, but yeah. So it's currently sitting at three million dollar market cap. Like the last five, like I told you, are kind of in a lower lower range there in market caps. Um, base chain is still a very new chain. There's still going to be a lot of projects coming to base chain. A lot of normies coming to base chain. A lot of retail coming to base chain. Um, Coinbase, I'm sure, will start listing some of these coins because there's hype around it. There's volume around it. It's on their blockchain. They're only going to win by listing the coins on their own blockchain. It makes sense. There's going to be a, some type of streamline there, I'm sure. Um, they've already, they're coming out. Oh, Coinbase is always coming out with a smart wallet. Coinbase is also coming out with a smart wallet. Um, it has a wallet now, so I don't know what, like how much different the smart wallet is going to be. But they have advertisements that they've already started rolling out with where they have screenshots of the coins that are trending the coins that are swapped being swapped on coinbase um on the base chain and brett is right there on the screenshot which is crazy because it is the number one trending coin on there so it makes sense but you know that's kind of what we're talking about that's like a glimpse into the future that's a glimpse into base chain being huge by the end of this year um that kind of goes to show you what coinbase is going to be doing rolling out with here when you know the temperament the, the the is back to bullish everybody's back to talking about coins you know we're pumping bitcoin hits a hundred thousand dollars who knows right still here in the next few months so we'll see that happening but um but yeah those are my top 10 base coins uh like i said first half higher market cap second half lower market cap um show me whatever you guys want like i'm looking at base base coins right now like this is probably you know a really good time to start like i said doubling down on your conviction plays maybe buying some of these you know what i mean like throw a few hundred dollars into it especially now like now everything is down this is when you want to buy when things are down you don't want to buy when stuff is pumping and going crazy right um i might double up on my uh double down on my whiff i might double down on my pepe i might double down on my bread again you know what i mean like we'll see what happens but uh yeah these are the top 10 base coins i am super bullish on and um let me know what other kind of videos you guys want me to do uh i guess i'll show you guys my portfolio it took a huge hit it is what it is um but yeah i guess i'll catch you guys on the next one peace finger gun Finger guns.